Right. So in this video, I want to talk about modifiers, which is a way to, uh, well, modify your models that you're making and add lots of details and different kinds of geometry to them uh, in a way that doesn't destroy the underlying shape that you've built. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. So what I've got here is just a plane that I've extruded and moved the pieces around a few times. So it's kind of more like a, a ribbon that's bending in different ways. Um, and I'm going to show you, uh, to start with, just how to add the first modifier, which is going to be the subdivision surface modifier. So with this object selected, click on this blue wrench. That opens the modifiers panel. We'll click that, and I'll go down to my subdivision surface like this. So right away, you can see that's a huge change. It's basically taken uh, that model that I had before and subdivided it and smoothed it. So each plane that I had before, you can do this to hide them, is now divided into four pieces and then probably smoothed a little bit. So you can see as I look at it from different angles, how it's kind of smoothing it down into a more organic shape. There's also this uh, simple version, which does subdivide the mesh, but doesn't do anything else to it. It's not smoothing it down at all. Um, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Uh, another modifier that's kind of useful, oh, actually, before I move on, uh, you can also increase the number of subdivisions here. I wouldn't go much past three ever. Uh, usually, I wouldn't go past two. Um, and a lot of the time, I, I only use one. Um, but it depends on, on the circumstances. We'll leave it at one for now. Uh, so we'll add another modifier to this to show you how they can kind of be combined together for different effects. So uh, one that's really useful for doing things like clothes or uh, a lot of details on different kinds of meshes really uh, is solidify. So this takes uh, a surface that only is like one polygon. It doesn't have so sides, edges, or a bottom and uh, thickens it a little bit. So it basically will extrude this whole shape. So I'll go add modifier and then solidify. And it doesn't look like much. It's pretty thin right now. But I can use some of these settings here to change it. I can increase the thickness of this uh, solidify modifier uh, to give it you know, a little bit more depth. So as you can see, this would be a great way to add all kinds of different ornaments and stuff or, or uh, handles if you're making like pottery. Um, clothes is what I often use this for to give clothes a sense of thickness. Um, but it all depends. Uh, now. The real power of these modifiers, I've added a subdivision surface, I've added a solidify, got a lot of vertices, a lot of geometry here, it's pretty complicated. But if I go into edit mode, you can kind of just barely see here, it still is this basic mesh that I started with. It's just that uh, handful of planes really. So now I can use this simple mesh to control the shape much more easily uh, than I could uh, if I had modeled all of this stuff myself. If I decide I wanted to say, uh, make this whole piece here kind of like flare out more, or if I wanted to adjust the curve of it here, I can go into x-ray mode here and select things a little more easily. So you can see how powerful this is. I, I don't have to work with such a crazy, complicated, annoying mesh. Um, I can use these modifiers to my advantage to basically build something very complicated out of something very simple. The other thing that I wanted to show you here uh, is that the order really matters, that the order that these modifiers are applied really matters a lot. So I go back out to object mode and let's see what happens if I put these in a slightly different order. So here goes my solidify in front of my subdivision you can see that totally changed the shape. And why is that? Well, I'll hide the subdivision modifier to start with. And we can see here's what that solidify is doing. So first it takes that, that plane and it extrudes it out into this shape. And then the thing that happens next in the list is this subdivision surface. It takes that uh, kind of blocky but still thick solid shape and smooths it down a little bit. Uh, yeah, so uh, if I put the subdivision surface modifier first, you can see that um, the first thing that happens is we uh, smooth down this basic shape like that. We go from this to this, 
and then it adds this kind of extruded shape to it. So the order of these matters a lot. Uh, anyway, this should get you ready for the next video, which is going to be about um, retopologizing re a mesh that you've generated with photogrammetry. You could al also use it to retopologize a high poly sculpt or something like that, but uh, I don't think we'll be talking about that process so much uh, in this class.